decided to leave uh, event and fashion photography because uh, in 2008 uh, the business slowed down and many other photographers that had been in the business for a lot longer time than I had been were struggling. Um, I got married last year and my wife actually loves wedding events, um, coupled to the fact that I'm a photographer. Uh, she encouraged me to do a wedding uh, for her friend of hers and I actually quite loved it and enjoyed doing I uh, prefer to blend into the background. I like to take tiny footsteps, basically capturing the moment as it happens, uh, getting a natural expression. In some instances, I do have to pose. Uh, for instance, when the bride's finished her makeup, I think it's important that you pose her in that particular situation. And in group such situations, I think that's also important that you would pose the bride and uh, members of her family and close friends. What motivated me to write the wedding planner and the two ebooks was owing to the fact that my service that I offer is an all-inclusive service. So I don't just rock up and take photos on the day. I do some pre-consultation, I pre-scout the locations and the ebooks were basically uh, written to aid brides on their wedding day for things that they might have overlooked. So this, these two books are quite informative on what I'm actually gonna do on the day. And the other ebook, uh, 25 Budget Friendly Ways to Impress Your Guests, gives them 25 practical, useful, budget friendly ways to make their wedding day more interesting, more engaging, and more pleasurable for their guests. Absolutely, I would consider myself a budget-friendly photographer. This is my uh, second year in trading as a wedding photographer. My prices, I've been told by many of my brides that my prices are more than reasonable, bearing in mind that my service isn't just a ceremonial service, it's an all-inclusive service. Uh, you get a wedding, not only do you get a we uh, wedding photographer, you get a wedding planner, you get an album designer, and my prices are very, very reasonable, as I'm sure you'll see. Basically, after I've shot your wedding, I'll then reduce your shots down to, I would say, the best 300. Uh, after that, these 300 are sent away for colour correction because throughout the course of a wedding, the light changes, so there's different casts on photos. So when I colour correct them, all the true colours come back. So if you had a orange, a particular orange dress on your wedding day, that true colour would come back. Um, when these are colour corrected, I also do 20 retouches on the closer shots where I might do uh, front cover magazine shots. So I'll, complete, I'll clear up all blemishes, loose hairs, brighten your eyes, brighten your teeth, whatever I need to do to make you look your very best. I've been quite fortunate to have worked with some great people. Uh, generally, they basically say they find me very friendly, all their guests like me. They love my work, they love the quality of my work, and just generally the way that I do things. Uh, recently, I had uh, the bride and mother, during a consultation, uh, stop the consultation, and she basically said to me that I'm more than a wedding photographer. So I said, what do you mean? She said that you actually come, when you came to this consultation today, you've actually helped to plan the wedding and consult us and it's almost like you're our, our big brother, if you like. Well, what's next for Larry Campbell Photography? I think Larry Campbell Photography will be moving into videography, uh, as I'm having lots and lots of requests from my brides for videography, so that'll be uh, one of the new things coming to Larry Campbell Photography. Also, I am looking to move into destination photography as I'm getting quite a lot of requests for brides that want to take me on their tropical weddings and weddings outside of England. So.